My son is in France, graduated culinary school. We're on FaceTime and he's like, Dad, you have to buy a Thermomix. And I'm like, what does it do? And he's like, everything. Pretty much all the commercial kitchens in Europe have one. I spotted this one touring the kitchen at Shana in Paris. It's the ultimate tool for sauces, yogurt, sorbets, even zabayon. What I didn't realize is that it actually does almost everything. Over 92,000 recipes, an online worldwide community of users numbering in the hundreds of thousands, this is a home kitchen game changer and it can be yours for free with no bullshit one in a million prize odds. Literally, you can earn yours for free. I'm gonna give you a full review of this product. I've used it extensively. Today we're gonna to make five recipes all with this machine. Check out this spectrum from lemonade to pizza dough, a frozen fruit smoothie to broccoli red pepper salad with pignoli and Parmesan risotto. Five out of the 92,000 recipes you can have access to with Thermomix. If that's not enough, you can create and add your own recipes. This thing is unbelievable and it cleans itself. I was skeptical about Thermomix. I'm not a fan of kitchen gadgets. My son had also suggested a while ago that I purchased an Instapot. I spent more time with tech support trying to fix a stupid error that kept me from using it than actually using it. Yes, I held the three buttons down. How many times do you want me to unplug and replug this thing in? So I almost passed by the Thermomix thinking it was like the rest. Thermomix is not like the rest. It's made in Germany and France and backed by a company that opened its doors in 1883 that's right. For work, the company that makes Thermomix has been in business for 140 years. 10 million Thermomixes have been sold around the world in 33 countries since 1971. I've been making videos on this channel for over four and a half years, and my purpose is finding truth in this huge sea of information. I try to be as transparent as possible, and I'm not swayed by commissions or free products. I purchased this Thermomix with my own money, and I promise you it's going to impress you. I reached out to the company and set up a meeting with the regional sales manager who actually came to my test kitchen and gave me a personal demonstration. Today I have a really special treat in the honor of being with Eva. Eva is the branch manager for all of the Northeast region for Thermomix, including New York, and she's taken a special trip out to visit me and show me how to use the Thermomix machine. Eva, welcome to my show. Hello everyone. So today we're going to have a big menu that we're going to be putting together. Yes. What are we cooking today? We are going to make a berry dream, lemonade, we are going to make a broccoli salad, pizza dough and risotto. I mean, that's a huge spectrum and all that in this machine. Yes, everything in the thermomix. Do you like desserts? Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> like. So let's start with the berry dream. So when you go down, one of the uh, latest recipes would be also the cooking experience. Okay. So every month we get two new uh, collections so if you love coffee we have recipes with the coffee you can make coffee in this machine yes so there you go so let's start with the berry dream and if you wanted to you could just type in berry dream and it'll bring yes. it up also when i go down you can see the difficulty preparation time total time and portions on the left you see all the ingredients preparation on the right hints and tricks and also on the left you see all the nutrition let's press start now this is a scale. Yes. So if you touch it, which we don't want to do, <laughs> it's affecting it. It's literally asking us right now to weigh the amount of sugar that we want. It says five yes. ounces and I'm cl clearly it could do grams and so on and so of forth. Of course, we can go to grams also. Okay. We need to have zero to start. So, so you need tear. to tear. Mm -hmm. Okay. What if I wanted to use it as a scale without adding it to it? How do you do that? Slide to the left and you can go just to the scale. Oh, that's fantastic. So if we were to take this bowl, let's say, and put it on here, it's calling for five ounces of sugar. We just press tear. Yes. And now it's zero, so we could add our we sugar right to it. Sugar. Yeah. So okay. we take this off. Yes. Take everything off. Hit tear. So usually, what do you put um, in your tea or coffee when you want to make it sweet? I, you're asking the wrong guy. I drink it black. But yeah, I usually put like organic so, sugar. Uh, we can substitute the regular sugar with the brown sugar, with the monk fruit sugar. Uh, so this is the beauty of the Thermomix. And you can, uh, so we would go with the recipe. But then when you start to use it, you can put less sugar, more sugar. So whatever is good for you. You could use agave, you can use maple syrup. It's yes. a flexible thing and, and, and it's not, you know, hard and fast. Yeah. And look, it measures it to the tenth of an ounce is what it measures. It's pretty great. There we go. Five ounces. Okay, so now you can press next. 
and it's asking us, us to insert measuring cup into mixing bowl lid. Press next. So now you see uh, three circles. The left one is the speed, the one in the middle is the temperature, but we are not going to heat up anything. And now we need to turn the uh, speed selector up to 10. And oh, it's it telling us, us to do so that. So we need to go really fast, 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 fast. Yes. Wow. So in 10 seconds, it turned our sugar Let's press Hit next. next. Yes, it's opening. Oh, so it's got automatic yes, lids. So that now you would see the magic when you take it out. So we just turned sugar into powdered sugar, yes. which is fantastic because, you know, one of the big problems with powdered sugar, it's usually laced with cornstarch. So this is a, a, sp this is a, a grain grinder that's an attachment for the Vitamix, which looks like it's about the same size. This was $125. So oh, wow. right away, you save $125 okay. by using... So you can do grain, spices, everything can be ground in there. Yes, I mean, correct. that is unbelievable. In seconds. In seconds. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So let's press next. And now we need 18 ounces of, of frozen berries. What fruit do you like? Well, I like berries. I like bananas. I like this because it's got kale in it, mm -hmm. which kind of makes me feel awesome. good about myself that I'm having a little bit of kale. Yeah. And it's going to get blended in, so nobody needs to know, uh, you know, if you have kids, they don't need to know that you're actually serving them kale. <laughs> so the only, th this thing here does not have any kind of refrigeration in it. No. That's it can be a little bit more, okay. So it's not like set in stone, okay. No. So now we are going to add the lemon or the lime juice. So it's going to be half or one ounce. So do you like uh, more or less? Let's go right in the middle. Let's do a little over half. Okay, awesome. So Hit let's next. Press next. We are going to put uh, two egg whites and press next. Insert the spatula through the whole mixing bowl and turn it while yes, blending. So now it's a little video that you can actually watch. Wow, look at that. And it would show you what to do. How awesome is that? Okay. That. So press next. Insert so, butterfly whisk. Yes. So butterfly also comes with the thermomix and we use it to make butter. We use it to make whipped cream. Make sure it's locked. So we just put it. Yeah. It just fits right yeah. on top. We just put it on the top. Okay. So press next. We cover again. Okay. Next. So now we would go up to three and a half. So go fast, it would stop at three and a half. Okay. Hope you do it fast. So. Yes. There we go. Next. Okay. okay. So let's take it off. Wow. This is the one. Oh one. my God. Look at that. <laughs> this is like, this is like a perfect sorbet. Look at this. You know how hard it is to get sorbet like this? Oh my God. And also, as you can see, this is a lot, you know, so you can feed like eight people with that dessert. Oh my God, <laughs> that's like ridiculous. <laughs> yes. I am not exaggerating. That is, that is amazing. And how long it took us to make it? Five minutes. Five minutes. And then you can... I can't stop eating this. <laughs> this is magical. Yes, it's delicious. So you portion it off as much as you want. Serve what you want. So if you have more than, if you have less than, say, five or six people showing up, you just portion it off in your Ziploc yes. bag, store it flat, or store it in the freezer. Unbelievable. Do you like eggs? Yes. So you can also boil eggs, and it gives you whatever you like, like soft, soft medium, medium, hard yes. boiled. So we have kettle, so you can set up the temperature for your kettle, whatever you need. Like hot water in the morning. Yes. Rice cooker. Yes. Warm up. So I know people, they don't like to use the microwave. They have the thermomix. I don't even own one. So they just use it in the office uh, to heat it up the food that they bring. So you just put it in and put on it on? On the Varoma, yes. Oh, with the water. Varoma. Yes, so the... It fecan, comes with it, by the way. Yes. Yeah. Fecan to make different kind of sauce. Hollandaise nice sauce, mayonnaise, yes, yes, foams, yes, fermentations. So I make my own yogurt at home. I just use the Varoma and I have small jars. I set it up for the night and I wake up in the morning with the fresh yogurt. We have flow cooker, sous vide, peeler. Peeler, wow. Slicing. Do you like pink lemonade? Sure, why not? 
So now we are not going to clean the bowl. We are going to use the scale. We are going to add the lemons inside. So, so you're putting the whole lemon in there? Yeah, two lemons. We can add the sugar. Four ounces of sugar. Let's go maybe with 3.3 uh, today. Okay. And we need to add 36 ounces of water. To turbo. Do you need ice? No. Two seconds. I just press here and turn the selector. Okay. So lemonade is ready. That's it? Yeah. So now I would just use the simmering basket to... And, oh, to uh, strain yes, it. to strain it, yes. Okay. okay. Smells good. Yes, let's see how it tastes. Cheers. Would you add more sugar or a little bit more? A little bit more. A little bit okay. more. I would go with the four ounces. Okay. Thin crust pizza dough, four cheese pizza, Today, another pizza dough, another pizza dough. Look at this. Yes. Oh. We are just going to make one of the plain pizzas and then tomorrow or in the evening you can actually make, use it and make whatever you want. Next. Next, turn the speed to one. We're basically activating the yeast. Yes. I found out about this by my, through my son. My son is in Paris, and he says that this machine is in every restaurant, commercial kitchen, they have this there. <laughs> I didn't realize that everybody in Europe has one of these machines. It's like the staple in, in the kitchen. You just told me that in Poland, they actually have 225,000 of these sold. Just last year. Wow. And uh, in the United States, we say it's the best kept secret, so. Not anymore. Hit next. 395 so when grams. When we remove the top, again, we need to press the tear to make it zero. Actually, we can even uh, take a look inside and see how it's working. First of all, this is made in Germany. Yes. This is not a product that's made in China or Taiwan, made in Germany and France. Yes. So, and it comes with a two year warranty extendable to five years. I, I mean, have you ever seen one of these break down? To be honest, no. So it's really good quality. Uh, I love that. The good thing is for people who know how to cook and for people who don't know how to cook. And with me, you get both, because I'll show people how to cook using the Thermomix. Yes. I don't use Pam or any of that other garbage. Yeah, either one, that's fine. Show you actually a trick. Okay, show me a trick. I would just turn it around, okay? And go to the left, go to the right. And, and it the folds right out. Another trick, so if you have a little bit left, you can always go back to the turbo mode and the rest of the dough will just jump out. So this is like a little trick. Just two seconds. Yeah. So if there's the anything there, yeah, it'll pop jump. out. Yes. Yes. So now we can just shape it in the bowl, cover and set it aside. Okay. Cover bowl so with cling film. Yes. Let it rise for an hour. So it walks you through every single process. Yes. Show me how this thing cleans itself. I'm curious okay, about that. Thermomix clean itself. So let's go back to the house. Go to the left, and we have pre-clean, so it tells us... The things you should do, yeah. do not use more soap than indicated, yes. okay. I would just put the soap, like one liter, and also if you look inside the bowl, There's a mark you for would one see liter. the marks. Pepper, fats or caramel, browned bottom, so well, I we just We just did dough, so might yes, as well do so dough. Do dough. But also I would stop after two minutes, because... Uh, the bowl was pretty, pretty clean. clean. It wasn't like a sticky dough or yeah. a wet dough. So I just want to show you. Oh, it's cleaning it right now. Yes. So that it's going quiet. to heat up the temperature. Oh, so it you heats would up see the, the temperature. The color would change into red. So every time when thermomix gets hotter, hot, you would see the color would change red. So you need to be uh, more careful. I mean, one of the things I hate more than anything about bringing out the the um, the mixer is that you have to clean it and yeah. it's all it's all never easy yes. even if you put water in it and you it just never does the job yes. right but this does it all yes. for you so also i 
don't use it, but uh, it's dishwasher uh, safe. So now it's approximately five minutes, but I would just stop. So every time you want to stop, you would just press like. And that's it. Look at that. It's all soapy. It didn't get the top. Now, would it eventually get the top yeah. if it kept cooking? It, it would go faster. It just, it just keeps yes. getting faster and faster. And then it just cleans it out. Yep. All right. It's great. All right. So what's next? Broccoli salad. Broccoli salad. Do you like broccoli? I love broccoli. Okay. So press start cooking. Okay. Are you about to say, you sure? Yes. That was it. Ready. Five seconds. There you go. Look at that. Well, how long it would take you to cut it? I mean, not me, but the average person would take you 20 minutes, right? Yeah. Wow, so that, wow, that looks amazing. Now you're allergic <laughs> to some of this, right? The yes. apple, so you don't get to enjoy this, but I do. I mean, <laughs> the lemon, would keep the apple from turning yellow. So you could put some of this in a Ziploc bag okay. and serve it and have it take some to work, have it for dinner the next day. Yes. I mean, unbelievable. How much would you pay for this amount, you know, like of the salad if you go to the deli? At least nine or ten dollars a pound, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, when you go to here, you can go back and uh, you can go to your fridge and see what you have inside if you don't have idea what you can cook. Do you, do you like chicken? I do. Okay, so let's type chicken. And when I go to search, I would see all the recipes with chicken. And everybody rates them, so this is yeah. live. Yeah. So let me ask you something. Let's say I decide, I really like this recipe, but I think it would taste better with a little bit of whatever. Can you go in and take one of the recipes and modify it and make it yes. your own? Yes, when you go to the filters, you want to make some soups, appetizers, maybe main dishes, so you can search by the category. Also, you can go by ingredients, just like I put the chicken. Um, excluded ingredients, dietary restrictions, you know, gluten-free, dairy-free. Uh, also, you can uh, choose difficulty, so you can go with advanced. I, I don't know if I would try, but probably you can go for it's sure. Preparation time, if yes. you only have something, you have 15 minutes or... Yeah. You have maybe 30 minutes to cook and uh, you can just put the total time. So you can pick the portions. Ratings, and wow. And you can see the ratings. So also then you can go with the language. So here uh, you have English and you have United States. So I would take this out because now you would also see recipes uh, from... Uh, 91,917 yeah. recipes. So this is the total recipes. So you would also see the recipes... Uh, oh, that's Greek. Uh, when you have only English, you would see Canada, you would see Australia, United Kingdom. And oh, yeah. What United happens if you States. do? I'm just curious if you press English. So we got rid of United States. Yes. And it jumped up to quite a few more recipes. We were at 2,500 before or so. Yes. So now, now we're 10, I open more doors for you. If you speak another language, you can also pick another language. And you know what else you could do? I don't mean to interrupt you, but I don't know if you thought of this, but let's say that you wanted to make a Polish dish or a German dish, mm -hmm. but the language was in German. When you get to it, all you got to do is take a picture with your phone and go to translate and it'll translate yes, it for I you. I want to talk about that. Yes. So I really like the Chinese recipes. So I go to the Chinese recipes. There is really good lemonade there. Uh, it's Chinese with the lemonade? Red, it's re with a red cabbage. Oh, look at that. So that's a completely yes. Chinese. Yes. Oh, there so. it is. Red cabbage, huh? Look at it. Red cabbage lemonade. Unbelievable. Does it keep track of what you cook? Yes. Oh, look at my so recipes, my re recent cooked. cooking. So you see what you cooked recently. So you, and this is also today. connected online. Yeah. Say you click on one of these Asian recipes or Polish or Russian. You take it. And once you, you just go on your phone online, it does instant yeah. translate. That's fantastic. You don't have to be even next to your Thermomix. You can be, you know, in your living room or in the subway and just uh, create recipes or... Uh, make the menu. So you want to cook something for the weekend, you can add the recipes 
and just be ready. So and then when you find the recipes that you like... On the app actually you can pick the recipe and it would show you all the ingredients that you need. You can cross it out uh, what you have already at home like water, salt, oh. oil. You can actually add more. Uh, maybe you need more milk, maybe butter, so you can add it there. And then you can uh, go to shopping list and uh, pick, put your zip code and it would show you all the uh, stores that can actually deliver to you. And all the ingredients are going to be already uh, in the shopping cart. And you can just uh, change the brand. So if you don't like this brand of the milk, you can switch for another one. It saves a lot of time. Unbelievable. <laughs> I think we're down to the last recipe now, yes. right? Okay, great. Do you like risotto? I, I love risotto. So and nobody knows how to make risotto. good risotto at home easily. Most people don't make a great risotto. So let's turns... see if Thermomix can make Let's one. see if the... <laughs> that's a challenge. We are going to go to recently cooked and risotto is there. So let's restart and we are going to make the Parmesan risotto today. We tear it. One and a half ounce of Parmesan cheese cubed. So now ten we seconds. go all the way fast up to the 10. Fast, 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 fast. Okay, awesome. Look at that. This is crazy. Grated Parmesan. <laughs> That alone is such a time saver. Next step is three ounces onions quartered, two cloves of garlic, one ounce extra virgin olive oil, one ounce unsalted butter cubed. I like the way that it resets itself in between. Yeah. Every time you hit next, it re-tears. Mm -hmm. Place splash guard onto mixing bowl lid to avoid splashing. First cover and this is the splash guard. Splash guard also comes with the Thermomix and the recipe would ask you actually to put it on the top. Okay. Okay, so now press done and we would just turn the speed selector. So now for three minutes it's going to uh, sauté. And oh, it's sautéing? <laughs> yes, so you would see also the color would uh, change from uh, green to red. To red when it starts to be hot. So, you, can you leave the screen? So when you go to the three dots, mm -hmm. you can see the uh, recipe details, you can go to the scale, you can go uh, to the preview, and also you see here, you can uh, just press preview and you would see what are the next steps. So you can actually get ready with the, ah. with the rice, with the water, so you can Look, do it's that. red now. Yeah. Look, the steam's coming out the top. You can, you know, go here, you can look at the collections. Oh, so it's still working even though yeah. we're scanning. And you oh, can that's see great. the time on the top here that it's still working. Oh, that's great. What is your favorite so far? What function? Every step you're blowing me away with another exciting thing. It's clearly one of the biggest pains in the neck for any kitchen chef, okay, a kitchen cook is scale. You have mm -hmm. to weigh everything. This is done automatically. That's <laughs> phenomenal. The grinding portion, unbelievable. The powdered sugar, amazing. Now it's cooking. I'm dying to see what it looks like sauteed. This is sauteing in one minute. I mean, think about how much time. If you do it on the stovetop, yeah. you're sitting there and you, you know, sauteing. To me, this is unbelievable. I'm dying to see what's going to happen in 43 seconds, you know? Yeah. I know this doesn't mean a lot in the whole scheme of what this thing is capable of doing, but cleaning itself I mean, how fantastic is that? Yeah. That's one of the biggest problems. Anything you have a blade, anytime you have to clean yeah. a blade, you risk cutting yourself. You risk, you know, it gets caught in between. Like some of the stuff like these here, it, to get, take this off, uh, some of them don't even come off. Oh, wow. You know, it's like, this is all done for you. Oh, that's it. All right, let's see where we're at now. Now it's hot, you see red. Okay, so the, the butter is melted and everything is wilted at this point. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't trying to make it brown, which makes no. sense. You don't want brown yeah. stuff. All right, so hit with next. Okay. Remove so splash guard, insert measuring cup, down. okay. Now so if you go fast, it stops at five. Yeah. Okay, so I'll do that next time. I mean, three seconds, yep. you know? Everything is chopped. Look at that. Everything's okay, chopped. So now we're gonna add 10 ounces of risotto. Yes. It's sauteing it up, unbelievable. If you don't have wine at home, you can go with water and you can go with the apple juice. Next, without measuring cup, turn speed to one for a minute. Okay. When Thermomix is cooking, uh, some people want to read a book or even go take a shower or, uh, you know, do the... No dirty hands. <laughs> yes. Everything's done, chopped, I mean... 
you can do the laundry, whatever you want to do, you can do. And Thermomix can work for you and help you in the kitchen. Uh, and I know some Italian people, they said it's really hard to make risotto because you need to be next to the stove all the time. It's very hard to make risotto uh, right. To make it right. Mm -hmm. Anybody can make crappy risotto. <laughs> but to make it right, it's a learning curve. Okay. All right, next. 25 okay, ounces of water. But again, we could just add yes, it to the top, right? Go through one stock beef cube or one heaping teaspoon of vegetable paste. I have that. It says half to one teaspoon of salt. Let's just scrape the bottom of the mixing bowl through with spatula. Okay, so we will take out. Place simmering basket instead of measuring cup onto. Yes, so some recipes would ask you to use the simmering uh, basket on the top. So you would just put the lid and then put the basket. Okay. The basket you can also use to uh, cook steam. rice, yes, to steam vegetables. When the rice is hot, you would actually use spatula to here, so pick it up like that. Yeah. So there is special they, they hook. Think, they think of everything. You just take it out and you can easily transfer. So safety first. Yeah, this recipe is asking to put it on the top. Turn this to one. Awesome. So now you have 13 minutes. What can you do in the 13 minutes when Thermomix is cooking for you? When I make risotto, there is no 13 minutes because I ladle it in, it absorbs it, ladles it in, it absorbs it. And I've watched videos online where guys don't do that, but in 13 minutes I could do a lot. Okay. I, could, you know, <laughs> I wish I had another Thermomix I can cook the second half of dinner today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It looks like there's a lot of liquid in there. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be two more minutes. Oh, it's gonna, I was gonna say, it probably yeah. needs about two or three yeah. more minutes. Okay, great. Okay. All right, so we take this, put it on top, hit okay. next. Okay, so we're, we're back down to zero. Yes, so we hit next. Well, our risotto to rest in the mixing bowl for one minute, then carefully remove the summer. Yes, so we can take the summering basket out. You can, we can actually keep the measuring cup and let it rest for two more minutes. And then we would combine the risotto. Half an ounce of butter the, and the yes, parmesan, parmesan cheese. cheese. Oh my God, look, we forgot, but look at the dough. Wow. Ready. You just make it pizza now or do you let it push the air, let it rest one more uh, time? You can that. make it now. You can actually uh, make it ball again, wrap it and put it in the fridge or even freezer. You can freeze it? Yes. So Look at that. Look at that. It's perfect. All right, so I know it's been two minutes. So now what are you going to do? We're going to add a little more butter and our Parmesan to it? Yes. Parmesan. That's perfect because the Parmesan now is going to thicken it up. Can I just pour it in? Yeah, yeah. This is the measured amount that we ground up yeah. earlier and you serve it immediately. So you would dump that into a bowl and put okay. it out on the table. So in basically 15 minutes, because it's about 13 plus yeah. two, plus prep two minutes. So in 17 minutes you make risotto, which by the way, if you wanted to make it home properly, you would need you would need to babysit. Mm -hmm. yep. Let's see. It's such, it was very hot. What a winner. Absolutely delicious. Mm. Wow. Well, I was impressed with my demo. Now I'm really, really impressed and excited. <laughs> I cannot thank you enough for coming here and taking the time, cooking. What a spectrum of recipes. So let's see, 92,000. We cooked five, so I have a little practice. I have yes. 91,995 to go. All over the world, easy, cleans itself. I'm speechless. This is the ultimate, ultimate kitchen gadget. If you tally up all the kitchen gadgets this replaces, you're saving a ton of money. If you spend an average of $100 a week eating out at lunch or work, you're spending close to $5,000 a year. I promise you, with very little time, you can easily cut that down to under $2,000 a year. It takes minutes to plan your week, get a recipe list, and either have your ingredients ready to be delivered, picked up, or purchased very easily. This is not a sponsored video, but like my other videos, I do receive a commission if you purchase a Thermomix using my link below. There are a couple of things that you need to know about their marketing, warranty, and subscriptions before you invest in it. So Thermomix offers 12 months of interest-free financing, which is great because purchasing it up front will cost you $1,500. Now Thermomix is trying to make the TM6 
a household device in every home. So when you click on my link below, it will take you to the Thermomix website and give you purchasing options. One of those options is to sell the TM6 to your friends and family. If you click on the interest refinancing option, they won't bill you for three months. And if you sell four of these within three months, yours is free. They won't charge you the 12 monthly installments. This is my least favorite part of the Thermomix's business model. It makes me feel like I'm part of a marketing pyramid and it's unfortunate because it's not a pyramid scam. However, if you do decide to become a part of the Thermomix team and try to get yours for free, you will need to have a sponsor show you the ropes, whether it's online or in person, sit through some pretty basic training, and you will now become the go-to person for who you sold the machine to. People who buy this machine from you will have questions, and even though the time you invest is not a terrible large amount of time, it's a time investment. So if you start seeing dollar signs and immediately decide to jump into this product for a revenue stream, stop. Just like anything else worthwhile, buy one because it will enhance your lifestyle, use it, get comfortable with it, and then if you decide to sell them, you'll be far more prepared and successful at it. When you purchase your machine, it will ask you to extend the warranty. It comes with a two year warranty, so if you're like me and worry about machines dying one week after the warranty expires, be prepared to spend some more money. They do give you 90 days after you purchase the machine to buy the extended warranty, which is really good. You may decide that you're using this machine a lot more than you thought and realize the value in extended protection. It is self-cleaning, sort of. When you start using this machine to cook food, like sauteed chicken, it will stain and the cleaning cycle does not always remove the brown stains in the bottom of the basket. The good news is that you can just pour some hot water and baking soda in it, let it sit there, and usually that does a trick. I did a whole video about cleaning stainless and that's by far the best method. If that doesn't do it, I love how the blades remove with virtually no effort or tools. In the bottom of the unit, you grab this handle here, you twist, blades come out. Really, really simple. The Cook I Do app is simply brilliant. I love that I can prepare my menu in advance and I love the variety of recipes. I love that it gives me a simple shopping list. And here's an example of how it works. Using the Cook I Do app is incredibly simple. You just click on Cook I Do and you're going to be logged in. And oh, look what we have here. We have our uh, Whoopi's favorites. She seems to be a big fan of the Thermomix products. But anyway, you can search what you want to cook for. So let's say you wanted to cook, oh, I don't know. Let's say you wanted to do pasta. So you could just type in pasta, hit search, and it gives you 488 recipes. So they're rated based on what the user experience is. So let's say we want to try this butternut squash and macaroni and cheese recipe. So you click on it. So you can choose when you want to cook it. So let's say you decide that you're going to cook it on Saturday. So you click add, you click add to my week, you choose Saturday, and that recipe is now saved for Saturday. And then you can go to your recipes and find the one that you are going to be using. So let's say you go to my week, we're going to go down to Saturday, November 18th. We click on that. And there's our recipe. Let's say we want to add that to our ingredient list. So you go to your shopping list, click on shopping list. It's been added to your shopping list. Then when you come down here to shopping and you click on that, you can look at your shopping list by category or by recipe. So if you click on by recipes and you go down to butternut squash, it's going to tell you all of the ingredients that you need to make the butternut squash. So let's say that you say, well, you know, I don't need to buy water. I have that and I have macaroni and I have milk, but I need unsalted butter. I have salt. I have pepper. I need ground nutmeg and I have flour. So you got to buy Parmesan cheese, cheddar cheese, butternut squash, unsalted butter and ground nutmegs. So now these items are on your shopping list. So when you go to the supermarket, you can just check them off as you purchase them. Now, if you want to order your ingredients, you click these three buttons here at the top of the screen. You can choose order ingredients and it's going to ask you, how do you want to order them? 
So you can get them from Walmart, you can get them from Amazon Fresh, ShopRite, Instacart, wherever you have an account. And they'll either be ready for you to pick up or be delivered to you. It's just that simple. When you purchase the machine, you get six months of the app for free. Then they charge you $59 per year. But what happens if you choose not to subscribe? The good news is that you do not lose the recipes you have made. They stay in the machine. The machine functions under a manual mode like it would if you had the app or not. You can continue to create your own recipes without the app on the machine. But you do lose access to the app. And for me, after using it, it's well worth the annual cost. If you decide to become a part of the Thermomix family as a consultant, they do waive that annual fee. But what about parts? If you're grinding ice or sugar or salt, well, the blades, like any blades, are going to wear out. The good news is that they are replaceable. And for someone like me who uses this both at home and in a commercial kitchen, that's a major plus because the blades are affordable. If you have a food processor, you know how quickly parts become obsolete, how hard they are to get, and how expensive they are to replace. I want you to eat healthy, save money, and cook like a pro. But I also want you to save time. And the link below will not only allow you to get your hands on a Thermomix of your own, when you click on that link, I will give you exclusive and private access to a monthly live stream where I will answer your questions. You can join in live or receive a private link to watch it when you find the time. I've tried quite a few recipes in the Cook I Do app, and some of them are great, some of them need a little tweaking. I will make them taste better and substitute less healthy ingredients with more healthy options. By choosing to get your Thermomix through my link, you will have exclusive access to those recipes and you will be able to recreate in the comfort of your own home those recipes. We can work on your recipes together and have your questions answered during our monthly live streams. You have a question? Drop it down below near the description and please ask questions. I can't think of a better gift for anyone who loves to cook. And here are some time-saving tips on cooking, cleaning, and eating healthy. Cheers.